Babe of the day. Babe of the day. Mariska Veres of Shocking Blue. When I first heard her sing on the radio, I could tell what she looked like without ever having seen a picture. She looked exactly like she sounded. Dark hair, exotic, and beautiful. She was the lead singer of Shocking Blue, and they put out a lot of great music, but Venus remained their biggest hit. She even had a respectable solo career. Mariska was actually of gypsy heritage, and her hair was actually curly. She wore a lot of straight wigs in the various pictures that you see of her uh, for the shocking blue. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people were surprised by that, and I know I was too when I first heard it, because it looks so natural. But she looked good either with the straight hair wig or with the curly hair. I don't think that they really needed to make it straight like they did. I think they could have left it curly, but either which way, she looked good either which way. She was not the original lead singer for Shocking Blue. Uh, it was actually a man for their first album. And then what happened was, is he got drafted, and well, he didn't stay drafted for long, but by the time he came back, Mariska came in, and the girl lead singer for the group, good-looking girl singer and everything else, says, well, you know, there just really was no chance of going back. But if you ever get a chance to hear Shocking Blue's very first album with Fred DeWild as the lead singer, I recommend that you listen to it. It's actually quite good. Uh, it's just too bad that it didn't work out for him. But Mariska, she had that voice a lot of people try to compare it to Grace Slick. I don't think it's quite the same, but I think both, you know, they're both dark hair and they're the lead singer of a group. Uh, both of them have them kind of booming voices. Grace Slick, though, I just says, I don't think you can compare because Grace Slick's voice, I mean, she could blow out a speaker with her voice and everything. And even though Mariska sounded like that, she just wasn't quite as booming as Grace, but she had a very good voice just the same. Oh, her was a little kitty. I know um, in later years, Mariska said that, you know, she often felt like a painted doll at that time. She just kind of put out in the public and just kind of sold. I do think she liked singing this. As I don't know if she was as comfortable with the publicity. But... So maybe she didn't have the best time with it, but that's a shame because she really was good and the band was good. The band really ended because she didn't want to do it anymore. She was not the leader of the band, um, but she just didn't feel like doing it anymore, so they just disbanded. And, and she had a very good solo career. Her solo music isn't exactly like Shocking Blue, but it's not a total departure from it either. She has a lot of good solo material. She didn't get quite as successful with her solo career as she was with The Shocking Blue. Like I said, their biggest song was Venus, uh, but they had a lot of other notable songs that did fairly well in other countries, you know, like Mighty Joe. and I like all their material. I think that's uh, one of the greatest tragedies of rock roll is that they weren't more well known for their other music because they had a lot of great music outside Venus. As a matter of fact, you're going to see that, you know, if you listen to their album, it says, well, Venus, that's not quite as good as a lot of their other music, but that's the one that became a hit. And it's still a good song. I'm not going to put that down, but they do have a lot of better material out there that you should really listen to. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tribute.